Hello guys and welcome back to Play of the J. We just had a cracking round just now on round number two on Miramar where you see BAE and Gang FTY go toe to toe, two on two. And it looks like uh, Gang FTY was able to come out on top there. So anyways, let's get stuck in for round number three. And for round number three, looks as though they were gonna have a plane going from Sosnovka Island all the way up to Georgia Pole. So gonna omit maybe some of the more favorite places here, but I still see some teams going to Yasnaya, potentially Severni as well. It's not outside the realms of uh, possibility. I've seen Battle Arena elites tend to do that quite a bit there, uh, trying to get a little bit more distance if uh, if they do choose to. But it looks like, excuse me, there's quite a few teams here already opting to drop out early and heading towards Milta. We see Frostfire, are winners from round number one. And we also see Gang FTY, are winners from round number two, all, all moving in the same direction. See Face Gaming going for their traditional Milta power region at the moment here. Lemon Gaming Gold here, gonna be dropping here. While we do have Flash Vision deciding to come to Sosnovka military base together with Quacker here. Quacker very uh, much always gonna be a military base here. For 99% of the time, and there's going to be Geek Fam a little bit spread out, but Vengeance is going to be very close to Modi as well. So the Geek Fam players have to be a little bit careful here, but a little bit of a dropping, different dropping pattern there for Geek Fam in this game. And it does look like Physics Gaming and uh, also the players of Gold Army Factory are going to be here in Pachinki all together. Now, it looks like Red Sea moving towards their traditional Rozog area here, but they do have ONE very close to them, so they're going to have to be a little bit mindful. And looks like the winners here are going to be Battle Arena Elites, Minokopi Jup, and Gaventure, all having very solid positions here in the center of the circle. It's going to be all the way here in this northwestern part of the map, so that's going to be a very interesting finish here. Most of the teams here all not in the same area, but Mune already getting an early kill there with the... Um, I'm not sure. I think it was the double barrel shotgun. Yeah, double barrel shotgun. And Modi is going to be down. So Geek Fam losing one player early on here. So going to be a bit unfortunate for them. But they still do have two players on Sosnovka military base. And one just a little bit on over the, the channel here. Now, looks like most of the teams here do have to think about a very quick... Um, rotation much earlier than they would expect to, especially those in the Melta region here, as uh, really they do have quite a bit to go. Mr. Pa here, going to be the furthest player forward for Flash Vision, and uh, kind of separated from the rest of his team. I think he does know that Quacker is going to be around here, and he's actually just moving towards the container area while the rest of his team uh, continue to loot up around the control towers. What this does is actually gives them a little bit more breathing room in the looting stages of the game, as um, it's definitely going to be something that's going to be quite beneficial for them. Um, you do want to try and screen whether or not that Quacker here going to actually try up move um, through the military base here, try and get a little bit closer, but Skyrex here taking a few hits there from Mr. Pa. So he's probably going to be uh, keeping his distance, and Mr. Pa just shooting at through window for the time being here. I think uh, didn't quite uh, see whether or not that was a, a player right there, but better take those uh, shots when you have them, right? So now he's going to continue onward, looking to scout just a little bit more in this region. But now we have Lemon Gaming Gold infringing on uh, Face Gaming's territory right now. The, there's just continuing to loot up around the Milton Power region. I think they have managed to secure some vehicles here so far. Looks like Gang FTY going for Lipovka again over here. Well, actually, they only had like two players go over there but uh, the, in round number one, but they did lose one of them. I think M0 did go down in that fight there where they were a bit surprised there by some of the other teams that were in the area. So now it looks like in Pachinki... Looks like Gold Army Factory, they did come here last round. Vengeance did come here as well, which they were unfortunately not able to, to come out with it. So it's probably one of the reasons why they're around the Fairy Pier section here for the time being. But it looks like Fisher's Gaming here is going to be very well congregated towards the northern side of Pachinki, looting away from the potential threat. But top one, Saika here, is going to be still very close to the KMF1 and the rest of Gold Army Factory. So we'll, we'll see how that is going to be picking up just a little bit later on. But BAE here, currently quite spread out between Zarki and the surrounding regions. Batman going to be here all the way on the, the eastern side of uh, North George at the moment here. I think he's ha hanging out here just a little bit. Try and get a little bit of scouting information here uh, for the rest of his team. Or 
he could be uh, AFK. We'll have to see which is the case. But uh, in round number one, it did look as though that he was slightly AFK, or he was just trying to be very stealthy, getting spotted out there by Skyrex at the last moment. Um, but looks like Genius Team here going to start moving up from the south side here. Looks like Gekka is still going to be occupied by... The, the players of Stadium Fighter are just going to take their time a little bit. Vengeance starting to move onwards here after looting up on the Fairy Pier side of things. Jang's already moving up north just a little bit himself. Stage Gaming are a team, third place team from round number two. Starting to spread out a little bit more in this uh, farmland region between uh, Pachiki and Milta as uh, they're going to continue moving onwards in the direction of the circle here just a little bit. But currently it looks like uh, Rosal going to be all by uh, Red Sea's self. And uh, we do have the Fizzerick Esports guys hanging out a little bit more. Watertown, we are going to see ONE. So we're gonna, probably going to be seeing a lot of rotations coming up pretty soon as the Blue Zone is going to start making its move here. As um, there's going to be still quite some distance to, to travel. Gang FDY does have a relatively um, clear route to getting back into the circle. I expect them to take that long rotation there. And uh, looks like Chi and Zach here going to be putting up some long range shots trying to get some connections there onto Lemon Gaming Gold. Currently Sepulcher taking a hit himself. Byron now moving through the zone here but Zach going to catch him out of the vehicle there and he's going to finish him off and uh, get that next little bit of extra loot as the first kill for Face Gaming here going to be at Lemon Gaming Gold's expense here but Forza going to catch out um, one of the Geek Fan players here as uh, looks as though Savior are going to get taken down there after they moved up towards the northern section of Sosnovka Island and now only going to be Kenny and uh, Jang's left here. Jang's currently just hiding out here in this uh, building for the time being. <laughs> no, excuse me. And uh, for the most part here, it does look like it, he's just going to continue to hang out here until we see Wilkes starting to make further moves here. But he's just going to hang out in the bathroom right now. And he does have that little bit of an angle there to see through the gaps in the doors to see if Wilkes is going to be making his move. I think they might have hurt each other, hence why both of them are kind of standing still. But now Jank here has to be careful, but looks like he's going to be able to catch out Wilkes there and finish him off. But now it looks like the rest of stage gaming going to be looking for blood here as they try to clear out the rest of these players. But now it doesn't look like Jenks has many places to go for the time being here as uh, now Stage Gaming here going to have to just be taking this rather methodically just to make sure that they don't lose a player. Jenks going to close the door right now. Just get a little bit more coverage there. There's only going to be those two small windows there. Jang's going to be forced to run out there. And Kids Young might be in a good position there. But looks like the nade going to catch out Jang's anyways there. And it looks like that's going to be Geek Fam down in players here very early on. And uh, they only have uh, one player left here. Kenny going to move from Military Island. Now it looks like everyone else making their way over as uh, we see Lemon Gaming Gold. Still making their moves here. Uh, Gang FTY going to be moving late. So is the face gaming. Try and get a little bit more loot in. And it doesn't matter too much if they take too much blue damage. Because the amount of time that they spend here getting a little bit more extra meds. Definitely going to help them. So Kenny going to be the last player here for Geek Fam. As he has to try and make his way in. Now we did only start with 19 teams. So unfortunately Silver Wolves not able to participate this evening. Um, but... Looks like Joker able to get some long range shots there, taking out Mr. Pa with the headshot, but should be able to get the res off. But uh, have to see whether or not that they can get another helmet to replace the one that just got blasted apart. Now, for the most part, Genius Team here are going to have that 2 2 split. Going to be happy hanging around the hospital area for the time being. Well, our Flash Vision moving away uh, from the central regions, uh, or actually, they move from Military Island, in fact. So they move up all the way over here. And trying to get into a decent spot, but now we're already seeing the gaming gold here trying to get some shots onto the rotation there. But uh, currently, there's only Sepujer and Serabix here um, still hanging out there. They only started with three players, and they did lose Fiverin as Zach did take him out of the car there. Um, and uh, now we're going to see that everyone is going to be kind of on the move here, seeing Zach moving very close to Gang FTY in Lapovka here, whereas uh, we see the rest of the face gaming starting to move in. Ken Kenny has actually taken a boat here. He's probably going to take a very long rotation here to try and get in safely, get some good placement points there for his team. But yes, now looking at things, uh, looks like uh, Onigate getting taken down by Jay-Z Jay-Z here as he runs a bit too close to um, 
Physrix Gaming here, and Revax actually getting knocked down by Teddy there, so a bit unfortunate. Therefore, uh, Frostfire shouldn't be too much of an issue, just that it's going to be uh, more attrition damage to them, as you do take uh, more damage when you have more successive knocks here. But now it looks like Frostfire here, trying to pay, return the favor here on Lemon Gaming Gold there, as they're also making their rotation through the zone. As, uh, currently, they did stop by here just to try and probably get another vehicle, but that's when the little bit of a mishap happened. But now Frostfire are going to continue onwards here as they make their way into the circle. But Blue Zone is well on its way, but now looks like Gang FTY has spotted out the face gaming players here for the time being. So we have to see whether or not uh, we're going to see some uh, K-Mind uh, type of tricks here coming up from Manpuram. Which uh, could entirely be possible here as he's closing the distance with Chi and... Uh, Saravim here, but looks like there's a mishap here. Chi actually knocked over his own teammate there by accident. And now Manpar, I'm going to continue running past them. So it looks like NFTY has their sights set on the bigger picture here. Not willing to, to fight it out right now, but looks like Lemon Gaming Gold here getting uh, spotted out by Frostfire. They followed them all the way over here. And now looks like uh, Revax here trying to spot out uh, what he can there for the time being. But Looks like Cerebix here gonna get caught out there and now looks like Gang FTY is uh, putting a lot of pressure onto Face Gaming here. They are caught out in the open here after uh, they're trying to get uh, Cerebeam up and uh, looks like Chi is also down here. Rascal gonna be the last player left up here as uh, Zach already making his way over. I'm not sure what he can do here but that's gonna be a lot of loot that uh, Gang FTY is gonna be able to take away from this battle. But the blue zone has almost finished here. Looks like Lemon Gaming Gold here. Not going to be able to come out alive in that battle here right now. But now it looks like Sage Gaming here trying to put pressure onto Vengeance here in rotation. But uh, now it looks like things are getting a bit hectic here. Mune actually getting out of the vehicle at the moment here. See whether or not he can spot out any of these Stage Gaming players. But he's taking a lot of fire from another direction here. Sim M here going to be driving away a little bit here. But Kids Young here going to get spotted out there. And looks like Mune going to be able to take him down there. And Kids Young. Gonna take more damage here as Junbin, Sim M, and the rest start to bug out there for stage gaming here. But Rascal here gonna be taken out by the blue zone here. And it looks like Zach's gonna have to do this one alone here. It looks like Mune gonna get the kill there. Uh, but Mune getting taken down himself by Lion Desert here. Stadium Fighter starting to make their presence felt here. They claim the kill onto Mune here and their first of the game. It looks like they're gonna continue onwards here. Currently, there is still two players there for Vengeance. They're hanging out at the compound. Alan Lembu and Hydrex Man just gonna hang out for a little bit more. Circle has shifted a little bit further north here. Alan's already taking a spot there for Gang FTY. Looks like Minimum Copy Job still occupying North George here for the time being. Gaventure here having to rotate around the Flash Vision players here. Who did move all the way from the military base here, but uh, Rascal gonna get taken out there by the blue zone now, leaving only Zach here to try and manage the situation there for the face gaming. But uh, now we're gonna see that these teams here are gonna be running through a lot of these choke points here, and a lot of these teams that want to take advantage of that, really put the hurt onto all these rotations coming out here, could potentially do something there. Genius team here and Quacker all rotating through South George right now, and uh, have to see whether or not they want to get a little bit more adventurous and start fighting each other, but looks like Genius Team here waiting for uh, all of the players here to get together here. They do all have a vehicle to themselves, so does Quacker at the moment here, as currently they're going to go through, uh, or rather go past the, the eastern edge of South George here, trying to get through, but they have to be careful about Flash Vision at the moment. But uh, now Gang FTY uh, taking quite a bit of blue damage here, but they should have enough meds for days here after getting all that loot from uh, the other three uh, face gaming players that they managed to take out there. But now looks like Genius Team here going to have to be a little bit careful here as currently there is going to be no copy job hanging out here. This way here is going to get all the way to the side here. Joker X as well. They're all crashing into the side here. And Joker X taking a bit of hits himself there as they're all continuing to run away from the situation. Nazy here going to get caught out there by Rosex D. And uh, that's going to be it there for him. Genius team here not stopping to try and help their comrade. But now looks like BAE after looting up very nicely in the center of the circle have taken up a good spot to put pressure on all these teams in rotation here. Afam has gone down at the moment as uh, currently they are trying to spawn out Ray Zera and NJRX. Taking a lot of hits there for the venture here. I'm not sure that they can get away from this one. They're, the vehicle taking just a little bit too much damage there. And Xiaowei going to be able to claim the two kills there. 
as um, they're making it very difficult for all these teams here in rotation here. Everyone just trying to run through. And Fisher Jamie here putting a lot of pressure onto Stadium Fighter now as they're trying to get through. But luckily for them, a lot of the shots were expended a little bit earlier on. And currently, we see Alan Lembu being chased there by the rest of um, Stadium Fighter here. Trying to get some of these shots onto him. But he's got the speed on his side right now. He should be able to get into a decent spot. Crossfire moving up here. Very close to Fisher uh, Gaming, in fact. Uh, oh no, sorry, Fisher Esports here. So, uh, Fisher Esports has to just uh, see whether or not they can get some vision on there. Looks as though that they are just going to use that hill to the advantage here at the moment. Revax here does have his vehicle taken out though, and he's had to deploy some smoke just to try and survive from this situation here. Now, there's just not a lot of cover available to him. He's going to really have to run across quite a bit of open ground if he wants to do much about it. But Mamparam and Gangat Y are on the high ground here. They're going to make life difficult there. As um, now it looks like Chilrex getting some revenge there, able to take down Sophia there from. Battle Arena elites after they lost two of their teammates here in the central regions. But now there's going to be Battle Arena elites who do have to worry about the players here from ONE at the moment. Batman going to try and get out. But looks like uh, Revax here going to finally get taken out there by KM. And uh, now it looks like Batman trying to return some fire towards the ONE esports players here at the moment. Currently, Dukong and... Uh, uh, and Snake Joker are taking quite a bit of damage here at this stage of the game. So they're going to try and just heal up a little bit more. They have managed to kind of congregate themselves, but Leo and Xiaowei starting to move in on this position. They might be able to pop up over the top here and surprise them. Currently, the smoke will throw off the hearing just a little bit. And it looks like Geek Fam going to get taken out here fairly early on in 18th position. But now Karen's going to move across the open ground here and not able to spot out Chiao Wei. And now there's going to be a huge advantage for Battle Arena Elites in this battle here as they do have the three on two situation here. And Snake Gore here has already been spotted out by Batman. The nade is good there. And he's going to get taken out now. It's only Dukong that is going to be left here in this situation. And uh, it's going to be very precarious for him. He's trying to back out of this fight here. See what he can do. More nades coming out there from Battle Arena Elites. See whether they can catch them out. But Circle is shifting further south here, so these teams are really going to have to think about um, making further moves here. But looks like Xiao Wei going to take down Dukong right now. And that's going to be it here in the round uh, number three there for ONE Esports. As um, now we're already seeing that most of the teams here have already managed to get a decent position here. Top one uh, Saika here in a bit of a difficult spot. He's got Gold Army Factory players all around him at the moment. And currently Flash Vision or Physrix uh, Esports, sorry, has to come in here. Or going around the firing range is going to be the remaining two players there from Frostfire. They did take a, a few losses there in the early stages. Hydrax Men and Alan Lembo going to hang out just outside on the northern edge of the circle. But top one, Saika here he does have that little bit of rock cover here at the moment. Dreams KMF1 going to hang out in the shack for the time being while they do try and see how the next circle is going to be shaping up just a little bit. Roy here also going to be hanging out there while Nine Holy starts to posture around a little bit and see what kind of additional information he can get. But currently there's not too many players here in the southern side. Mr. Pa here, no choice but to hang out in this tower. He does have Physrix Gaming all across the channel here and also... There is going to be Stage Gaming going to be continuing to put pressure on him. The rest of Flash Vision going to be hanging out on the northeastern tip here of South George. But uh, looks like uh, Minnow Copy Jump does have to move a little bit more. A few buildings over just to get inside the zone. As Blue Zone is on the move here. And uh, currently in the center is only going to be Battle Arena. At least they really stick their claim here. Red Sea opting to go for a bit of a 2-2 strategy here. Try and cover as much ground as possible. You could be hedging your bets or... you. Uh, or uh, trying to provide each other a little bit of cover but it does look a little bit far apart here so they might not be able to help each other should things go horribly wrong as currently we do see that there is going to be quite a bit of terrain between the two squads but uh, we'll see how that is going to be shaping up a little bit later as uh, currently we're seeing that the whole of physics uh, gaming here or esports here starting to move in here Makarang Trying to get the shots there on Hickey, and he takes quite a bit of damage there, getting knocked down. And now Hickey going to get taken out by Allens himself, as the rest of uh, Gang FTY going to try and repel the attack right now. As, uh, we do see that uh, there was going to be quite a bit of uh, 
uh, players are spread there from Gang FDY. I'm building that they can really repel this attack too easily at the moment as Alan's is much further away than Dankirk right now. M0 also bring some long range fire here at the moment, but Dankirk got to get taken down by the nade there. He was actually on the other side of the tree, so he must have stepped a little bit further downhill and um, he's going to be in full vision. So look, looks like our winners from round number two here going to be down to two players left here and taking out their own player as well. So Probably not going to be able to claim the 15 points there, but now Circle here going to prioritize land and it looks like it's going to be in Battle Arena Elite's favor here, having that very dominant position in the center of the circle. But everyone else going to really have to shove right in there and try and see what they can do here. But now it looks like Minokopi Jump moving in a little bit from North George here. Closer to Quacker right now. Quacker does have that whole compound to themselves here and uh, they do have the numbers there they do have all four players available to them but uh, they also do have some distance to move as well but it looks like Junbin here for stage gaming trying to get in a little bit more here is uh, currently taking quite a bit of fire as well and it looks like flash vision also making their way trying to get inside the circle right now as everyone's making that mad dash here they're actually going to go for a little bit of a swim here as they do want to try and avoid the bridges it's a little bit too tight and um, not very safe in fact as uh, currently there's just too many players uh, which have got good vision there so they're opting to go for a swim instead but they got Sim and Junbin hanging out in this shack that they have to just be a little bit careful of but there are a lot of shots Oh, actually, it's going to be from their teammate, Mr. Pa, here. So I think they do know that there is going to be potential problems here. The nade coming out there and looks like it's going to be detrimental. And looks like that's going to be it for stage gaming. As uh, Fred Vivo here going to be able to claim that final kill onto Junbin. As um, it really was not going to be an easy uh, proposition for him. But it looks like Gold Army Factory had finally realized his top one Saika is there after he takes out KMF1 here. And uh, now going to be in that decent spot here. He did relay a lot of information for his teammates. And now Awang and the rest are starting to get, trying to get in a better position here to stop the rest of Gold Army Factory. But Gold Army Factory are already across there through 9 Holy there. And he's able to knock down Awang at range there. Now, he's going to see whether or not he can get into a better position here, running across a lot of open ground for the time being. As uh, currently we see Red Sea here starting to put pressure onto Gang FDY, trying to get inside the zone right now. Dream's hanging back a little bit, one a uh, little back, bit back here for Gold Army Factory. He does want to see whether top one Saika here might get caught out, but now Mino Copy Chop is chasing Genius Team. They have taken down Usui here, and now Joker X is going to be following up. Uh, with him and uh, now it's only going to be paid 27 who is going to be left here dreams actually expiring there in, this, in the circle but so is top one Saika here and making life difficult and uh, looks like gang FTY also in a difficult spot themselves but they do have stadium fighter to thank for relieving some of the pressure onto them here as they are pushing uh, inside the circle here and um, diverting some of the attention there from Don Pablo and Joku here but now it looks like uh, FTY going to try and move in on the back of that and Lion Desert able to get the nice headshot onto Don Pablo in the shack and now looks like Joku here going to be a little bit too far away I don't think that there's going to be too much he can do he's got the whole squad a stadium fighter that he has to worry about but all the way over here on this uh, northwestern edge of the circle here, Chilrex just hanging out there next to the vehicle, next to Paid. And uh, have to see who is going to be uh, able to spot out the, the other player next here. Chilrex might be able to uh, discern that he is in this position, but just really not willing to take the, the risk of pop up and take the kill there. As um, he does have to be a little bit mindful, but Minokopicha actually moving a little bit further south here, so might not be able to catch vision of them. But it looks like Joku here actually going into the shack here to try and help out his team members there. But now it looks like Physrix Esports here spotting out the rest of Gold Army Factory, starting to move in here. And it looks like Chorex going to finally catch out Paid there, hanging out by the tree. And um, now not looking good for Gold Army Factory. They only have Roy, Z Roy who is going to be moving in, but Lupi here waiting for the right moment to catch him out there as he's moving in from the zone, but looks like he wasn't able to spot him out before Roy did, and he had the superior cover in that instance there. But now it looks like Uplux and the rest of Quacker here in trouble. As, uh, currently, they're getting backstabbed by Minokopi Jap here, and they lose some of their players straight off the bat here. Currently, there's only Recoils and Forsen that's going to be left here to try and deal with this. As uh, currently, they're not inside the zone. Battle Arena Elite still having 
A decent spread here, trying to cover a lot of zones here. But looks like Hahoku is going to finish off Chilrex and Conventure as they get taken out in the first half. And uh, now, first half in terms of the number of teams remaining here. But now it looks like uh, Leo here trying to put some shots back towards uh, the Flash Vision players. Starting to move in from the southern side here. But uh, going to be a little bit more on the precarious side of things here as... Uh, Currently, now the high ground advantage definitely going to the battle arena, at least here in this situation. Prev Evo here gonna just hang out uh, on the lower ground for the time being here. As currently, we're seeing have other players starting to move in as Flash Vision now has problems in their side here in the form of Fang Ai here, who's just gonna continue hanging out, but he actually gets caught out there by Mr. Pa there at range. So good cover coming in from them. And it looks like um, Gang FTY is still able to survive, take out um, the players there from Vengeance, in fact. And uh, they're going to still have two players left up here. They did take a knock a little bit earlier on. But now Quacker here in lots of trouble. Force, forced to come out in the open here. And he's going to get taken out there by Flash Vision. But Flash Vision continuing to face pressure from Badman and the rest of Battle Arena elites here. Is, uh, they're really not letting these teams get inside the circle very easily. Now, looks like uh, Mr. Pa going to be taken out already there as uh looks like flash vision only going to have glad and pear pie who's going to be left for many but gang fdy actually getting picked off themselves there and now we're down to nine teams red sea still having the two players left here they did have the 2-2 split but unfortunately they weren't able to deal with the the players coming in from the eastern side there as there's uh, too much pressure coming in from stadium fighters so stadium fighter also looking very strong here they do have the four plays left they're moving on the face gaming um where there's only going to be zach who's left remaining here i'm not sure that he's going to be spotted out here we have to see how good his uh hiding spot is for the time being and currently he's behind a rock there so he might have the chance to uh try and circumvent this but uh we'll see how that's going to turn up as uh, currently there's going to be a lot of uh, searching potential there for stadium fighter but Batman gonna finally get the kill there onto Fred Vivo after he bleeds out there, Glad. And uh, Parapai just gonna continue to hang out here while they have to try and get inside very carefully here. It's really Battle Arena Elise does have some good vision here from the high ground and inside the compound. But now it looks like Awan gonna get caught out here as Roy from Bold Army Factory moving in, claiming the name. And uh, now Jay-Z, Jay-Z trying to get into a better position here. But looks like Kahaya gonna do Jay-Z, Jay-Z a favor here as he's going to be able to escape from that particular fight there but he does have to worry about flash vision flash vision actually probably not going to pop their heads up too soon here they do want to try and see how this is going to be shaping up here but looks like fly dd does have some vision on jay-z jay-z he's going to be a little bit locked into place there not too much that he can do zach already disengaged or rather move managing to move out of his hiding spot safely enough here as uh looks like red sea here going to engage with stadium fighter at the moment as uh now looks like uh, Glad and the rest of Flash Vision trying to put some fire back towards BAE as uh, currently Chiawei going to get taken down. Batman might have to think about uh, whether or not he wants to move over and try and help his teammates out. Currently Leo here should be able to get the... Ooh, looks like the, the smoke not fully obscuring the vision and the shot going through the smoke there from Parapai getting the kill. And now Minokopi Chap moving in from the western side here. They still have vehicles available to them as they look to try and manage this current situation. But now Stadium Fighter starting to put more pressure as uh, they're moving into the northeastern side of the circle. They spot out Hahakus and Pokoyo currently trying to move in from the northern side for Red Sea. But there's still going to be Mr. Six there for Frostfire who can move in from the northern side here and try and do... Um, what he can to try and get uh, some kills there, but he actually gets caught out by Pokoyo there. And uh, now Haha Goose trying to hang out by the smoke side here and see what he can do. But currently, there's still going to be all the players there from Stadium Fighter hanging out there. And it looks like Parapai going to be taking a fall there. And now Lion Desert has a full vision of Haha Goose and he's running out in the open slide. He's going to get the knock, Pokoyo. Trying to do what he can there from the side there, but looks like Kahaya going to get the headshot onto Pokoyo. And that's going to be it there for Red Sea as they get eliminated by Stadium Fighter. Stadium Fighter looking strong in the northern side. Face Gaming still in this with um, Zach hanging out here on this northeast, uh, northwestern edge. And uh, now it looks like uh, Minokopi Jup starting to move in from the southern, uh, southern side here. Now, looks like Battle Arena leads here after losing uh, Chao Wei just now. Looks like Leo here going to come on to the compound as well, give um, give a little bit more um, of concerted effort there for Battle Arena Elites as currently we're seeing um, 
I'm going to copy jab, just continuing to, to spread out, get a little bit more information. All these teams here, not willing to make too many moves at this stage. They do want to see how the rest of this blue zone is going to be shaping up, because the worst thing that you can do is actually take a fight just before the zone completes there. Unless you move into the central positions here where it might not matter as much, but uh, we'll have to see what these teams decide to do, as they're very much happy with the respective territory that they managed to, to get here so far in this game. And looks like Battle Arena Lee is going to get a really nice circle here. And uh, uh, Esco Rex a little bit inside it already. Stage Fighter trying to spot him out already here as they're moving along this side. They are obstructing all the vision there from Battle Arena Elites here as they do want to try and take this one piece at a time. But it's very narrow angle at the moment here. So even though they have four players left here, it might be a bit more difficult for them to break them down. Esco Rex currently moving away from the vehicle here while it blows up. And now he's got... Quite a bit of cover here, but we do see Slide D starting to move in here. His nade is good, and he might be trying to secure the kill now and make life difficult for Minokopi Jap. As uh, looks like he's going to be able to finish off Esco Rex, and K Bytes would have heard that, and now he's going to be able to surprise Slide D. And uh, he's still got a lot of pressure coming his way from Kahaya as well. Trying to get the car 9 a shot there, just not able to land it just yet. And um, Line Desert also bringing out the rear here. A lot of mates coming out there and the smoke coming out. This, that tree is really not uh, big enough uh, to try and cover the whole of uh, Line Desert right now. But now Dini and Kahaya going to be here on the high ground trying to see whether they can put the finishing touches onto K-Bytes. Zach still moving in slowly there from the northern side here, moving in with the circle. Rosex D going to be still a bit further away. K-Bytes essentially doing this all by himself right now for a minimum copy jump. Sly DD should be res right now and K-Bytes going to see a uh, lie a bit prone here, see whether or not he can catch out any of the stadium fighter players, but they're going to be happy to be inside the zone. K Bytes does need to make his maneuvers a little bit later on here, as uh, currently it's not going to be too well hidden if uh, he has to start running up the hill pretty soon. But he's just posturing around a little bit. But currently, stadium fighter just happy to reset this battle a bit, get their two players up here, get the heels off try and go at the final circles here, full strength here. But now Kahaya moving in here, not sure whether or not he's spotted out Zack or not. Zack is going to hear Kahaya moving in here and he's going to be able to catch up Kahaya just as he goes prone right in front of him. And looks like Face Gaming here going to get their second kill as now that's a nice ghillie suit in fact there for Zack. So he's going to be in a very decent position. But uh, these nades are probably going to come flying out pretty soon there for the... The Stadium Fighter players here, Sly DD very close, so is Lion Desert here. Currently, Zach just inside the zone right now. And uh, now it looks like Lion Desert going to come up over the top there. And he's going to get the damage off faster there. As uh, Stadium Fighter going to finish off face gaming. But Battle Arena Elite's aware of their presence here. And they are having uh, a decent time so far. But now the circle is not in their favor at the moment. K Fight's here on the edge of the circle. And Dini has to try and hold this position. Rosex D here also in a, in, um, in a spot here. Trying to put some shots on Battle Arena Elite. It looks like Batman here taking too many shots there. As he did drive away from the compound. They do need to move away. Given the, the kind of position that they have right now, Rosex D here going to finish off the kill there. Nine kills already here uh, for uh, Minokopi Jap here, and he's got six of them. So great performance coming out from him here in game number three. And uh, now aware of Leo here, the smoke has gone out. He can try and meet up with uh, K Bytes here, but currently the, the distance here, this is smoke central right now, as K Bytes really just not going to be able to spot out too much here. But Dini would hear. K-Bytes moving around right now, but he is not moving a muscle. He doesn't want to give away his position. But currently no nades left for K-Bytes here for the time being, as now Dini is going to be starting to move edge towards the end of the circle here. And he's going to be able to catch up K-Bytes here. Oh, looks like he's going to be able to escape to taking any damage there from either Leo or Rosex D. And uh, now looks like Stadium Fighter in a fantastic position here. They get the headshot onto Leo. And now Rosex D is going to have to try and deal with the three remaining Stadium Fighter players. 12 kills in this game. Line Desert leading the way. And it looks like Sly DD going to get the final kill there. And that's going to be it there for round number three, guys, here on Erangel. And 14 kills going to Stadium Fighter. So excellent performance coming out from them really having a very concerted effort there in the later stages of the game and able to take 
different squads there at different um, from different perspectives. They're really putting the hurt onto them. I think they took out the whole of Red Sea uh, in two and two, and uh, really putting the hurt there onto Minokopi Jump there as well right at the end. So five kills apiece there for Sly DD and Lion Desert as they come through big. Um, and in second place is Minokopi Jap getting six kills through Rosex D. So good performance coming out from him there. But unfortunately not going to be enough there as uh, Stadium Fighter did have that final circle and made life very difficult. And in third place is Battle Arena Elites getting in the top five again here. Unfortunately not able to do better than round, the previous round where they just missed out getting uh, chicken dinner in second place. But they have managed to get third place there through Chao Wei and Batman getting five and four kills there respectively. And in fourth place, all due to Zach there, able to stay alive right to the end, putting his uh, survival skills to the max there and able to get um, that nice ghillie suit as well. So two kills coming in for him there as, they, as the face gaming comes in fourth position. And in fifth place is going to be Flash Vision. Flash Vision coming in from the southern side, but they had a lot of pressure on them from Battle Arena Elites earlier on. And uh, really just not able to get in there very easily. They also face pressure there from the sides. Minokopi Jap and uh, also on the eastern edges. But they come in fifth place. And that is going to be it there for um, round number three, guys. So thanks so much for watching Play of the J here. Thank you so much for all the likes and shares so far. And uh, it's been great having you guys so far. I'm going to bring you round number four after the short break and uh, get the rest of the action all nice and watched.